Hello all, Vern here once again with Real Therapy Charter Fishing. Today we're going to be talking about another knot, and this knot is one that I use when I'm trolling lead core to join either a monofilament or a fluorocarbon leader to the line. Now there's a couple of ways that you could join a fluorocarbon or a monofilament leader, one of those being to use a barrel swivel. And just be careful to not reel that barrel swivel through the rod tip. Another is to use what's called a Willis knot and directly join the two lines together. Now I'm going to be using a little variation of that knot today called a double Willis knot. So we have some stuff here. So we got our regular uh, suffix lead core. We got some fluorocarbon and here we have some monofilament. Now for my demonstration today, I'm going to use the monofilament because it is a little bit easier to see than the fluorocarbon is. We also have some super glue, and I'm just going to use a small dab of this at the end, and we'll talk about where we put that once we finish the knot. And we have some line cutters here. So we're going to start with the lead core, and as the name implies, this is a Dacron sheath with a lead core. So if I slide the Dacron sheath back a little bit, you see that lead core work its way out of there. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually tie two overhand knots in this line. Since this is a double Willis knot, we're going to put two overhand knots in it and use those to bond the monofilament. So there's one overhand knot, and we're going to make a second one then here. So there we have two overhand knots. Now we're going to make sure they're far enough down the line so I've got a good stretch here. So we need about six inches or so. So we see there's six inches of line after my, my two knots. So we saw that lead. We're going to slide that back. Just going to grab a hold of the core, move the sheath all the way back. So I have about six inches or so of the core exposed. I'm going to take the line cutter, clip off that core, get it out of the way. Now this will work better if I start the knot with the sheath just barely protruding outside of that core. Take the very end of my monofilament, find the end here. So there's the end of the monofilament. We're going to start that into that sheath like so. We'll find this does work a little bit better if you actually spin or rotate the sheath as you slide it on. And we're going to push this, this uh, monofilament all the way into the lead core until it actually contact, or into the, the sheath, excuse me, until it actually contacts the lead. And I actually felt it right there, it contacted. So if we were to look, we see the point that it bends right there. And the sheath is very limber, so it bends really easily right there. We have the monofilament inside of the sheath on this side and the stiff lead on the other side. So I'm gonna hold that monofilament sheath with a couple of fingers right here. And we're gonna just work those two knots all the way down the line until we get it to the end of the line where the monofilament joins it. So push that through there. If we make a loop, I can grasp the loop there. And you'll notice the end of the monofilament right there. I have a loop. I'm going to grasp it and just pull the line through that loop so that you see where the monofilament joins the lead there where it bends easy. And we just have this knot. We'll slide it down towards the end of the Dacron sheath. Pull it snug. Now that there is what's called a Willis knot. So that would be a single Willis knot. The second loop is going to create the double Willis knot. So similarly, I'm going to pull that through. You see right there is where the monofilament is located. 
we're going to again make a loop like we did before pull this line until that monofilament finds its way through that loop Give us a little bit bigger loop grasp the monofilament where it bends there see where it bends really easy grasp the monofilament and pull my second knot tight so I have the two knots a couple inches apart and right there where it's very limber right there is where the monofilament ends and my lead begins so what I've done is I've actually replaced the lead core with a monofilament core now I can pull on that really fairly hard and those knots are not going to slip so we don't have to worry about the monofilament sliding out of that Dacron sheath so you might be asking what is the super glue for I like to put just a dab of super glue on the very end of that Dacron sheath which will prevent it from fraying out as we're trolling now you can make this leader with your monofilament or fluorocarbon as long as you like whatever matches your dive chart for leader length or whatever you choose uh, for your preference as well so you can vary this length I prefer somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 to 15 feet but that obviously could be adjusted so I hope you enjoyed this video that's a double Willis knot one of the few knots that I use throughout my day if you enjoyed it hit like and I encourage you to subscribe to my channel as I'm going to have more of these instructional and beneficial videos for you to look at in the future. Thanks for watching.